We talk a lot about mental health, but for LMPD, that hasn't been a priority until just recently. In the meantime, they're holding each other up the best they can. Officers and trauma, it's not something they often open up about. We're trying to push this new way that it's okay to talk about your feelings. Monday morning, tragedy struck. The level of violence shocked the community. Now, imagine having to respond to the panic and then seeing the horror firsthand. What we do is not normal. What we see is not what the average person sees. And Monday was like the most extreme example of that. In response to the trauma comes the department's peer support group. They're a group of officers who've experienced dealing with traumatic events. The group has been in the hospital with Nick Wilt, the officer who was critically shot, offering support not only to his family, but also the other officers who will have to continue facing trauma. I would want someone to do it for my family. Um, so that's why I do it. The tragedy has brought people together and through their trauma, a ray of hope, unity, support, and love all help. So we are showing that support by being there and offering any services that we can for that family. Uh, we let them know how proud we are that we wear the same badge and uniform. And that pride is still resonating with Nick Wilt's brother. He was halfway through the police academy when Nick was shot. And his brother says he still plans on becoming an LMPD officer. Now that's bravery. Natalia Martinez, Wave News. Thanks to